Good morning. It is the first day of this weekly reading vlog for Vlogmas. It's Sunday. Tomorrow I go back to work. I've had like four or five days off, which has been really, really nice. I've been off since Wednesday, so we left to work early Wednesday. I had all of Thursday off for Thanksgiving. I didn't work the Friday, and I didn't work the weekend. It almost never happens that way. Anyway, um, I'm here drinking my coffee and having a little breakfast, and the book that I'm currently reading, I'm reading two books, but the book I'm currently reading right now is Dead Blondes and Bad Mothers by Sadie Doyle. I am maybe like 50 pages into it. I like it. I'm not loving it. It's a lot of discussion about slasher films at the moment, and I kind of want it to be more historical than slasher films at the moment. Um, and then the other book that I'm currently listening to is... Strange Birds by Celia C. Perez. I'm listening to this one exclusively on audiobook. I just have the book out and I've had it out for like two months. The audiobook hold finally came in a few days ago and I'm about halfway through this one. It's a very cute friendship story and it's set in Florida, which I love. Um, and it's like four different girls that are like coming together and standing up for what's right. That's what I'm currently reading and let's see what I get done this week. This is me one day into Vlogmas. I just spent maybe an hour and a half editing a video. I had like 28 minutes of footage and I got it down to 13 minutes. So that's good. Now I'm about to go take a shower and I will update you on how we're doing on my book. So I am more than halfway through Strange Birds. I listened to it on my walk with Sam this morning and I am now 100 pages into Dead Blondes and Bad Mothers. It's gotten better. I stopped talking about slasher films and now it is talking about our obsession with true crime and why women might be inclined to consume it. It's talking about Lacey Peterson right now, but I think it's, it is kind of uneven in that it goes back and forth between what historical thing or what like example cult pop culture wise it wants to give. Some are more interested in than others, so it's not perfect. Good morning! Now he's humping the air, so let's just go. Goodbye, Sam. You can stay there if you please. Hello! It is day two now, so it is Monday. I'm doing these every Sunday. I just finished Strange Birds on audiobook um, while I was driving and doing some errands. I actually ended up really enjoying this. I really enjoyed the friendship in it. These girls coming together and fighting for a cause, and they're kind of like the little activists, which I think is very 2019. And they all come from very different backgrounds and kind of learn from each other, and it was just very sweet, very sweet book. Dare I say, I think I liked it more than I liked Celia C. Perez's first book, The First Rule of Punk, which I read, I think, last year. So now that that's complete, I am still working on this one, but I just started a new book on audiobook and I'm going to be reading The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. I'm kind of looking for a contemporary, real life, grounded fiction adult book. I've heard that this one has romance, but not like romance is not the main point. It's more about the main character growing and she's a bookseller in Los Angeles and she's kind of been abandoned by her mother in a way. So we shall see how I like it. I have to cook lunch and get ready to leave work. I've already like put on makeup and got dressed. So all I have left is to eat and to pack everything up and then go to work. Tonight's my night. Out when he was... mm -hmm. Isn't that so cute? currently Tuesday, so day three, and it's time to go to work, and Mr. Sam today has to go to doggy daycare. 
He's ready to go. Right, Sam? Came home from work. The internet is down. <laughs> so the internet went down when I was at work since like one o'clock. It's now five and I left work a little bit early because I wasn't on the desk. Now I'm home and I was hoping that the internet was up here because I'm like close to the next city over and that city is not affected but I'm not close enough to not be affected at home so there's no internet here. I'm currently editing my video. There it is but we'll see if I can get it up tonight to be scheduled for tomorrow. I've been publishing them at 8 in the morning every day so as long as the internet comes back by 9 before I go to sleep basically I can leave it uploading overnight. It is now Friday and uh, I did an update yesterday I don't think. I'm kind of losing my steam on this vlog. I'm trying to pick it back up now that it's basically the weekend. Um, today at work I had a really fine day. I did yoga story time for the first time which is pretty interesting. Um, and then at the end of the day, we had our holiday white elephant gift exchange. The food was delicious and everybody had lots of fun and we laughed a lot, so it was a fun time. Let's talk about what I've been reading. I am currently 75% of the way through. I'm falling asleep, so I'm having a bit of a brain fart. I'm reading Nina Hill, The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. I have like two hours left and I only have like a day left on it, so I really need to finish it this weekend like tomorrow morning while I'm doing chores probably. It's pretty good. I think I liked maybe the first 50% more than I've liked the last 25%. I think all bookish people will, will feel a little seen reading this. I am reading Archival Quality. It's basically about this girl who works at the library and then she gets basically fired and she all she wanted was to work in a library so now she's looking for jobs. She doesn't have a university degree, so she kind of has a slim pickings and ends up getting a job working in the library of a museum as an archivist, basically. She can only work at nighttime, which is the first inkling that something's going on. And the second thing is there's people saying that there might be ghosts there. So there's a little bit of ghost stuff, spooky stuff in it, which I'm liking. But I'm hoping to finish out this weekend. And now I'm going to hit the hay. Hi there. It is now Saturday, so this vlog has one more day to go. I'm gonna put it together tomorrow morning. I wanted to say, well, first you can tell we no longer have a mattress. We sent it back because it's too firm. So we're gonna be sleeping back on a queen tonight, which is not gonna be fun. I wanted to say that I finished The Bookish Life of Nina Hill on audiobook this morning. It was like a mad dash to finish it because I realized when I woke up this morning it was due in 53 minutes and I still had like like an hour and 30 minutes to go, an hour and 45 minutes to go. So I listened to it first on like 1.75 speed. I was already listening to it on 1.65 speed and I was like, no, I can go faster and I went like 2.7 speed and I was like understanding and it was coming to the conclusion so I was kind of okay with it. I kind of just wanted to see how the threads came together. Yeah, so I finished that. Mad Dash, I finished with like five minutes left. Um, and then I finished Archival Quality, which I picked up a couple of days ago. This is a graphic novel, spooky, I think I talked about it already, but it was mostly actually about mental health and the main character thinking about her own mental health, looking into like early medicine specimens, which was a little spooky. Um, it was a little oversimplified, even though it's kind of long and you, I felt like a lot should happen, but not a lot really happened until right up to the end. I did start No Judgments by Meg Cabot, which I'm like really nervous is going to be super bad. I'm an hour in and it's not like bad yet. It seems like basically telling you the reader that the main character has gone through a lot of shit. They're just not expressing it to you just yet. But don't you worry, she's gone through a lot. So we'll see if that continues to be bad. If it is, I'm just going to DNF it. But man, the reviews of it on Goodreads are so bad. And then I thought to finish off this weekend, I really wanted to get through Open Borders because it's due back at the library and I can't renew it because no one's waiting for it. And it's um, The Science and Ethics of Immigration. This is a graphic kind of like history and graphic like explaining of all of it. I'll show you what it looks like inside and it kind of looks at immigration through all those facets too. Excited to get to that one. I hope that it's really good and has good information in it. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will put another one up next Sunday. Hopefully I'm going to keep vlogging once a week. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.